Yield in the name of love before you break my heart. Mr. Sams, what? I think you need to keep your day job. Besides, you're not even saying the right words. What do you mean? Stop so in the name of love. Stop in the name of love. Okay, who's talking about keeping their day job? <laughs> but it's yeah. stop, not yield. But why are you saying yield? Because... I like to yield better. I don't um, have to come to a complete stop. So you're, yeah, okay, so you don't like to violate the rules. I did get pulled over this weekend. Did you? I only got a warning, though. Oh. I was doing 68 and a 60. Oh, uh, ouch. Yeah, it helps when your wife, uh, um, she, like, grew up with the officer's daughter. And, oh, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. That small helps. town world. Yeah, right? um, oh, well. <laughs> I didn't get a ticket. It was about time that I haven't been pulled over in a while. I haven't no. had a ticket since I was 16. There you go. So you are actually probably a pretty good driver, huh? Um, hey, I'm not too bad. I, I don't so, speak. hey, I guess we are talking about percent of yield. So yeah. maybe that's yeah, why you were exactly saying stop yield. in the name of yeah. yield or real in the name, whatever that is. Yeah. yeah. I better keep my day job. Yeah. yeah. All right. Percent okay. yield. Percent, percent yield. yield. Not, okay, yeah, percent. Not not yield in the name no. of love. And this is the. It's kind of a different kind of yield. Uh, this yield is how much the reaction produces, produces as a percentage. Right. right. Yeah. So again, we've got a series of rules. So you gotta yeah. just copy it down. Mm. Here's an equation. You may want to put this in the back of your comp book. It's kind of yeah. an important equation section. Yep. Um, so yeah, why don't you stop the video and write these down? Okay, let's do. A did you hit examples. pause? Hey, I bet you did. If you didn't, stop. You push pause now. again. All right. All right, so here's a problem. Hey, okay. we got a balanced. Is that balanced? Uh, no, no. Yes, it is. I think it might actually be. It is. It's a, there's eleven carbons. Yep, it's balanced. Okay. Okay, this is a one to one ratio. Okay, Lovely. a student adds two hundred grams of C seven H six O three. Where did we get this problem? I don't know. I didn't make it up. That's for sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> and um, what else do we know? I have two hundred thirty one grams of aspirin. That's the C nine problem. Yeah. So this is two hundred and th I know. I remember two hundred thirty one point zero grams of this. That's right. how much is actually produced. So what's the percent yield? Right. So this is what you're going to do. This is kind of weird. What you're going to do is you're going to convert grams of this, of the reactant, to grams of the product. Right. But we already have grams of the product. Not really. What oh. you've got is how many grams you actually made. Like this is your... If I really did this in a lab, that's yeah. how much I actually This produced. is how much oh, okay. you actually made. So we need to calculate how much we could possibly make or theoretically make. Yeah, so what you do is convert that and you're going to get a number larger than 231. Hopefully. Because you can only, you can never produce more than 100%. Well, you can, but you didn't actually get the You'd get something thing. else, it's yeah. It's like contaminated with a bunch of other junk. Yeah. And then you're going to then divide. So this yeah. is actually a simpler problem than the limiting reactant problems that we did cool. in the previous podcast. I'll take it. So I'll take 200 right. grams of C7, I probably add up that mass, H6O3. Huh? I don't think I could do this in my 12784. 84 and 6 is 90. 90 plus 48 is 138. Is that right? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Grams of C7H6O3. I'm impressed. H6O3. 138. Mr. Bergman is amazing. Okay. One mole of c 7 h 6 Write the thing out, people. No naked numbers. Then I'm going to do the mole to mole ratio. This is an easy mole to mole ratio. It's, it's all one, one to one. So one mole of aspirin. I'm going to call it asp. That's the C name. Asp. Yeah. To one mole of C7H6O3. Thing, one thing cool about this reaction, just as a side note, guys, this is how you make aspirin. Mm -hmm. Like that people eat, or not eat, they don't eat it, but they use it medicinally yeah. um, to cure their headaches and whatever. And then we'll say one mole. My dad takes it for his heart. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's also yeah. uh, good for heart people with heart issues. To uh, so many grams of ass. Oh, it's so probably uh, that nine up to, times. Huh? See if you can beat me to it this time. Uh, nine, 108 plus 8 is 116. 180. Beat you. 180. All right, I knew that. I didn't get there. All right, Mr. Roman doing his head, and Mr. Sands beat me to it. So we now just do the math. The, the grams here cancel, the moles cancel. The moles here cancel, and you end up with grams. And you end up with a bigger number than 231. It is 200 261. 261 grams of acid. Or else we want four six, six, six pigs. Do we want four six pigs? Yeah, I think we should. 260.9. 260.9. That almost like said 10. Okay. So I'm going to then take what I know. I, I actually made 231.0 grams of aspirin, and I'm going to divide it by 260.9 grams of aspirin, and I'm going to times it by 100. It looks like a pretty high percentage, 80s or 90s. Mr. Yeah, we Sanders. get the 88.54. 88.54%. So that means that 
you are predicting, to, you'd like to make 100% aspirin, but yeah. you only made 88.5, which actually That's not too bad. It's pretty good. Can I a, tell you a story? Sure. I made this when I took organic chemistry in college. Yeah, I Only did I knocked over my beaker. Oh, yeah. And we had to do, obviously calculate a percent yield. So most people were getting, you know, 60 to 80% yield. I got a point, point 0.5% point five. yield. Because everything <laughs> nice. came out except for like these five little drops on the bottom of my beaker. Nice. 0.5% yield. I think I had, I was in the 60 to 80% yeah. when, when I did this I lab. Just,